Keep watching Charis TV. Can I greet you in the name of Jesus? There's a brother here. I want to pray for you. Uh, your child is in hospital. Come here uh, with a lung problem. Come. Come now. Can you all hear me? Come. Where's the brother? Can you hear me, all of you? There's a brother here. Your child is in hospital. Come here. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands to this man. This child must come out. Let's pray for him. Pray for him. Pray now. Pray. Pray. This child must come out like now. Pray. I can't hear you. Pray, pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Brother, you are free. Your child is also free. God bless you. God bless you. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makaranesa. And standing with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Oh, I, my name is Rifilwe. I'm coming from Katahong. So today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Oh, Prophet Andres uh, located me and he said there is a brother here who is a child who is sick in hospital. And then, um, and then I just, I was looking around and then I came forward because I'm actually brought that problem. Uh, but in fact, the, the child is not necessarily mine, but I, I decided, I prayed and said, God, I want to be the contact point for the child because she's in the hospital and the way the sickness itself was strange and the, the way it happened, you know, it was just advancing and after getting worse, they don't know what's happening with the child. You know, so I said, you know what, I'll go to, to church and be a contact point for that, that child so that she can get her healing because indeed I knew that we are dealing with something that is not uh, uh, ordinary. So, but I, the, the prophet said that child has a lung problem. So I said, I believe God that uh, God will get to the source of the problem. So then now I'm glad to hear that uh, the prophet located that it's a lung problem and indeed prayer was made, I believe, for a healing. So, so do, you have any, do you have any idea of why the child is hospitalized? No, the, I, I don't have any, 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 an actual idea, but the child was, was sick, was complaining with feet and whatsoever. Then when they get there, they do test, they can't find what's the problem. So basically, so, so I believe God that what the prophet revealed is the source because sometimes the doctors could not, cannot locate, they take time to locate whilst... The child is now it's having trouble. She's in ICU. They said that they said she, if she's not improving, they don't have a child's um, ICU they, 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 at the hospital that she's hospitalized. So they have to transfer her. But now she was just complicating and complicating. So, but I believe that in this message uh, we received from the prophet is a breakthrough, Amen. and indeed it's deliverance and healing for her. So how yes. how whose child is this? Whose child? Uh, basically, it's a believer that I know that she has. Um, we've, we are connected together, so she. We've been praying with her after when this problem began. So I said, you know what? I just believe that this thing must be dealt with uh, spiritually. So I just want to go to church and be a contact point for you. So and I believe that uh, as the healing has happened to the glory of God, I'll bring the mother. She will testify of the goodness of God. Because I'll, be, I'll call them today and tell them that, you know what? All is well. And then when, when, when she's um, released from hospital, discharge, and then we'll just come to the church and testify. Yes. And how do you feel that um, Prophet Andres located this case and ministered upon your life? No, I bless the name of the Lord because God sees all and hears all. He has heard my prayer. I thank God for that. And I thank God that he's using him mightily to the glory of his name. And I bless the name of the Lord because when we come to God for solution, indeed he will, he will, he will give us the solution we came for. This lady, uh, I saw a house coming to you, this one. You are living in a very small space. This lady... You, you, yes, you, 
Yes, that's you true. You are living in a very small space. Yes, I'm uh, always uh, complaining about yes, the house. Yes, uh, receive your house in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, my tene. Receive your house, mama. I'm sure she's yes, free. Yes, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Valencia Mingwai. I'm coming from Rodi Board. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He said that God want to bless me with a house because I'm staying in a small house. Which is true because I'm staying in a two-bedroom townhouse. It's too small for me and my kids. So I'm always complaining in the house that my house is too small. Yes, I confirm it to be true. And how long have you been trusting in God for a better house? I've been trusting to God for a long time. Even when I'm in the house, I'm always saying, Yo, this house is too small. I wish God can bless me with a house. Little did I know that God is listening to me. So I wasn't expecting that it can, God can talk about it today. So I was shocked because I was just saying in the house that I wish God can bless me with a house. I didn't know that he was listening to me. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you and ministered upon your life regarding a house that you've been desiring? I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed and I'm happy that at least my dream will come true. Amen. Yes. There's a lady here. There's a lady here. Mama, there's something in your stomach. Sometimes it's coming back here. Huh? It's true. Mm, it's affecting you as a woman. Amen. And uh, affecting your blood. Yes. Because I see a blood problem. Amen. So today, Jesus must set you free. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you hear me? Amen. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of the family, live it. Live it. My life, ma. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Nomsa Zungo. I'm coming from Kezet's end, but I'm staying here. It's Winnie Mandela. Mama, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay, he told me about the pain that I'll be feeling here on Master Mark. From Master Mark to my back and also affecting my, my, my blood and then and, and it's also affecting me a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true, it's true. And when I'm sleeping, especially I like sleeping with my stomach and then I'll be feeling the pain, especially here on my body here. And then after that, sometimes on my back too, I'll also feeling and also the blood. Sometimes I'll be menstruating non-stop. So that thing I'll be asking myself that why is it my menstruation is not stopping? So I thank God for that and I, I thank God for healing me. Amen. There's someone who's got a mental problem. This lady, who's this person? Yes. This person who's got a mental problem. Come here. Pass here. Your brother will be free. Be free, brother. Be free. There's a brother here. This one. Where is your father, brother? You. Huh? Come here. Because these bad dreams must leave you. These bad dreams must leave you. Because the spirit of death that is coming to you now. So today I must pray for you to set you free. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing in Jesus' name. You're free. Come yes. here. God must give you money to finish the house of your father. Jesus' name. God must give you money. Go and finish the house of your father. Right, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Mm, my name is Tambani. I'm from Boxbeck. Uh, but I'm originally from Guiani. Uh, yeah. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet Andrews said, uh, 
God is about to give me money to go and finish my father's house. I confirm that to be true because there is a house that is not finished. Uh, since my father passed on, it has been difficult to get to, to get that house to be finished. And how long have you been trusting in God for finances to finish this house? It's been like over two years now. Uh, the house has been standing. Yes, so that's true, what Prophet has said. Yes. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andrus located you and ministered upon your life? I am happy because I've been uh, actually stressing about it. Like, I wanted the house to be finished. Yes. Come, come, brother. Lift him up. Yeah. Lift him up. Yeah. Come. Come to me. In Jesus. Lift him up for the last time. Touch here. Lift him up. Come. Your kidneys are starting to fail, yes. uh, but don't worry. Yes. Uh, you have experienced this Thank you, Jesus. excruciating pain, but the, the problem will stop. Amen. It will stop. Thank you. with you. Come. Today, God has healed this woman. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Do you hear me? Yes. God, God has healed you. Uh, she'll be free. Thank you. Thank you, you, you today, or for the mama. Mm. Thank you, God. For the, in Jesus' name. Because I saw what happened to you. Uh, something very bad happened to you. Something very bad. Because you, according to me, you are, you are dead. Thank you. And I'm asking myself, why are you still alive? You know what happened to her? Did she tell you? She went home month end. I don't know which month end she's working with, for she, us. She works in your house? Yes. So she went home. When she came back, she stayed for one day. After that day, she was sick, very sick. Very sick. Very sick. Mama, today you are free. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. You know, sometimes when you, are, you say you are working, your family members are thinking you are making money. When you go home, they, they say, why are you wearing a, a, a dress like this? It's like you've got money, eh? From there they witch you. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I cancel death in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. You're free. Please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Mama, today during the service, Prophet Andrus located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. So Prophet Andrus located me and told me that I have a problem. Mama says she's been suffering from tonsils and she wasn't able to talk. Where I currently stay, I work as a domestic worker and when I had this problem of tonsils, I was not able to speak. Next, I can't go. Next, I'm in September. 
Kile hi. I explained to my boss that I haven't been feeling well because I was coming from home. I told her that I am not feeling well. She asked what the problem was and I explained to her that I'm suffering from tonsils. It was on a Sunday morning and we were supposed to come to church and when I explained that to her she just said I should go and sleep. Then I went to my room and I slept. And they went to church and I went to my room and I slept. And when they came back from church, they asked what was wrong, or when they came back from church, they asked how I was feeling, and I told them that um, the condition the condition is worsened. And she said the child will go and look for the pills for me the next day. And I they bought me the medication, I took it, and when I drank the medication, I started vomiting blood, and I went back to her and explained. And then I asked to go to the clinic. And then I went to the clinic. I when I went to the clinic, I explained to them what was the problem and they gave me medication. And I was drinking the medication together with the ones that my boss had bought me the previous day. And I couldn't swallow, I couldn't down the medication because of the tonsils. And I'm very happy that Prophet Andrews located me and ministered upon my life regarding this issue because it's been my desire to hear what the problem is. There's a brother who's troubling this old woman. You hear me? There's a brother who's troubling this old woman. Huh? He's my brother. You once there's, a, there's a brother who's troubling this old woman. He's my brother. This brother yes. must give his life to Christ. Uh, he's living very bad. I know so you, you must pray for him. Amen. In Jesus! That's huh? okay. You are saying what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Sister, look here. There's a spirit that is sleeping with you. It must leave you. Come on. The spirit must leave you. You people will be free today.
you have been given has made people to hate you. You hear me? And I see people that are using charms. Before you work there, you must pray. I always do that. Yes. Otherwise, they will make a plan that you must leave this workplace. So pray, pray, pray. Because some of these people, they are not listening to you. They are becoming very difficult. So I want to tell you, pray, pray. Otherwise, these charms will kick you out of this job. But if you pray, God will give you victory. Don't Amen. worry. God will give you victory. God bless you. Come on. Ow. Come on. Leave it now. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on, you deep! Out! Leave this lady off. Come here. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know you. Yeah, I know. I'm seeing you for the first time. Yes. I'm telling you, you have lost everything. Yes, of course, indeed. And today, you are on zero. Zero. Yes. Today, I want God to restore your businesses. Yes. Do you hear me? I hear you. I want say. God to restore everything you have lost. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And you are even sick now. Yeah. So there will be a double restoration. Uh, yes, my Lord. Your house will be restored. Even this yes. sickness will leave you. Thank you. You're free. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, I'm at the end, by the way. I'm coming from Piano. So today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, the Prophet says to me, I've got nothing, I've lost everything. I'm in a zero now, and it is true what the prophet has said to me. He's going to restore it for me so that it will come back double. And I, because I told him, Mr. Lightford, that I was having businesses. So everything was totally destroyed. Because the devil was trying to destroy me. It's one time I used to come to here into the church when he was still there. It saved me because all my brothers at home, I loved with only one, and they wanted me to die. They said, this guy, because he's playing with a lot, his church is playing, protecting him. Because during that COVID, you see, the church was not attending the church, but I was praying hard, so that God must protect me for everything that is happening to me. So today, I'm saved by the Lord. I see the God what is done to me. Today, I'm very happy. I praise Him. I will praise Him for the rest of my life, for everything that you restored it. Let it be by the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So how did losing everything affect you? Uh, it was so terrible that 
I was so frustrated. You know, if you become vulnerable, I didn't know what to do. But the only thing, because my late mother was a Christian, he said to me, my son, don't come to my grave and ask for something. Just go to church and make sure that God is the only one. Pray for God. Pray for God. God will do everything you are asking for. Nothing else. Amen. Amen. And so how do you feel that today Prophet Andrews located you, ministered upon your life, and even assured you that what you lost will come back double? You know, it makes me happy. I don't know what to say. I say, Lord, do it for me. I'm praying in my heart. God, do it for me. I will be so happy so that I will place my Lord in that way. In Jesus' name, my Amen. Thank you, sir. We are done. There's a brother in Lepalale. There's a brother who's working in Lepalale there. That brother, you must pray for him. Amen. There's a brother who's working in Lepalale. It's my second brother. Yes. That brother in Lepalale there, I see some of his friends around him. I see a very terrible thing coming. And this can be an accident on him. So you must pray for him. And I believe God will also save him. Amen. You hear me? Amen. In Jesus' name. The same spirit that has killed your father is looking for him. Jesus, my name. You are saying what? Andres. What are you saying? That lady, come here. Leave that lady to come. Even this brother. Both of you, you need deliverance. Take them there. It's true. Let them go there for prayer. Take this lady also. What is your problem? You want to kill them? Huh? You want to kill all of them? All of them. I see this brother. He has this money. brother he is has, yours. He has money, that one. My God. He has, he has a lot and he has a lot of plans and he still wants to get into business. I, I see him dead. Can you see you? You are planning. The devil say, No, you are about to die. You must pray. You hear me? You people must pray for your people. Can you hear what this demon is saying? Yes, God, a lot of plans, but we'll kill him. So you must leave this family. I will not leave them. Huh? I won't. You won't leave. I'm going to destroy them one by one. One by one. One by one. I've started and I'm gonna finish. Uh, the demon said I'll destroy them one by one. Even me, I'll destroy you one by one. Jesus! Life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Sandra and I'm from Bolokwan. Today during the service, Prophet Andrews located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, he said there's a brother in Le Palale. Um, he said um, the enemy wants to kill him and um, the same spirit that killed my father wants to kill him. So um, yeah. I also mentioned that he's surrounded by a group of friends um, that are a bad company to him. So, yeah. How do you feel that Prophet Andrews located your brother through you and even advised you to pray for him? Um, I feel happy. Um, I believe God reveals to redeem. So, I believe by him um, locating my brother, then it means that he has been rescued. I thank God for that. Um, pizza, rito, oh, oh, for. 
See this song because of this this lady. You know, imagine you've got three sisters who have got the same problem. You know, all of them today, God has restored them. All of them. <laughs> 